<laughs> Quick disclaimer, if you're here to have someone validate you for your Nintendo World experiences, I'm not that person. I'm here to talk about my experiences, my journey with Nintendo World, and I'm an unpaid actor so I can say whatever the fuck I want. I like a lot of Nintendo's products, but the thing is, I don't like Nintendo. I already ruined my chances of being sponsored by Nintendo. I really don't care about giving raw facts. <laughs> Plus, I don't want to be sponsored by a shitty company that's going to drop me when I say something a little too real anyway. I'd rather be sponsored by a shitty company that recognizes I'm a piece of shit too. I'm gonna make this very short, sweet, and to the point because I'm not gonna reiterate what a lot of people are saying, but they're kind of like sweetening it. They're trying to like, <laughs> they sound like they're just paid actors, I'm not gonna lie. You only go to Nintendo World basically for the Mario Kart ride and the scenery. Me, a fucking 10 out of 10 person. I'm over here taking pictures with everything and I'm looking stunning as hell! You see these pictures? Every picture I take, I look stunning. I don't know what it is. I grew the fuck up when I was when I was just a little ass kid. I look ugly as fuck. But as soon as I hit 25, things started fucking clicking. I'm looking beautiful and grown as hell. But yeah, there's a lot of beautiful scenery to be had in Super Nintendo World. I think that's what it's all about. Although you're paying $150 just for pictures. <laughs> Do whatever you want with that. But yeah, I definitely recommend the Super Mario Kart ride because it's one of the best rides and one of the only rides, to be honest, to go to. The wait times are absolutely fucking atrocious. Like, I think it was a two hour wait time for the Mario Kart ride and there was a lot of beautiful scenery going throughout, like, waiting in line. And I will say, like, there's beautiful places to take pictures or take videos of, but realistically, you're kind of there just for the pictures. Like, there's no other reason to be there. Like, a two hour wait time for the Mario Kart ride, it was absolutely fine, you know? It was a fun experience. I will say the VR experience was, it was kind of nice. It was kind of, well, I guess it's not VR, well, AR, whatever it is. But it was very, very nice. And I have to say, you have to ride it at least once. But everything else they have to offer is literally a shit show. There's like a two hour wait time just to do a Goompa challenge to where you're spinning this crank and there's no reason for it to be two hours! Like, I get, they can't control that. There's a lot of people there. But realistically, am I gonna wait two hours? Or is my child gonna wait two hours just to spin this crank and earn a fucking star? No, that's fucking stupid. You shouldn't wait two hours just to basically slap a bunch of alarm clocks and basically try to keep, them, keep something at bay. You shouldn't wait two hours! just so you can do a fucking matching game. I'm gonna be completely real. I think they should have added more rides so that your waiting experience is actually worth it. If you wanted to do all the activities, you're probably gonna be there for the whole day, and I don't think that's a solid way to spend your money, if I'm being completely honest. Even if you're the biggest Nintendo fan ever, I don't believe this is enough to keep you satisfied. Universal was amazing, but Nintendo Land, it's probably like a 6 out of 10, I'm sorry. If you're planning to go there with family and friends, I would probably wait. If you're going there with just family and little kids, maybe this is an option for you. But otherwise, I gotta say no. How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm out. I gotta start putting my intro at the start, man. I don't know what happened, but it ain't working out.